if you want to save time on grinding your badges and overall, make sure you hit up Hero Grinders on Instagram or Twitter for the fastest and safest way to get your badges maxed out. Links will be in the description. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video in relation to my previous video about catch and shoot badge not affecting your shot speed, now we're trying the same test with Dimer. I received some comment requests about it and this is an ongoing mystery even last gen that many people feel that Dimer increases the shooter shot speed or they say that the shot is much smoother or whatever. I don't easily believe those kind of rumors but to clear things out, let's find out if it's true. The toot slap. So now let's get into it. Now for the test, we'll have two passers, one with Hall of Fame Dimer and one without the badge. And we'll take 20 shots each player and we'll get the average on how long does it take for them to green a shot. Now for the timer, we will start right at the moment the player touches the ball. Because there could be a chance that the badge gives a faster catch and gather animation. So we need to cover that as well. And we will end the timer at the first frame we see that green light. And to make sure that the start of the shot timing is uniform with all the samples, before I press the pass button, I'm already pressing the shoot button of the shooter. So the moment he catches the ball, the player will just shoot straight away. We're not using our super modern controller here, we do this manually. Now you might say, oh toots, what if you hit different areas of the green window? Will that affect the results? <laughs> it doesn't matter, green window is so 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 small that even you take shots manually, visually they will green at the same time. It's so so small. As you can see here, I took these shots manually and every green were exactly at the same time. So that's how small it is. Now for the badges, I took away some badges that might interfere with the results like you know, badge that might activate on one sample and not on the other. So for the shooter, we only have corner specialist and hot zone hunter. And for the passer, we take away all playmaking badges but the dimer. And to make this test more accurate, I'll slow it down by 80%, so the time will be wider to have more accuracy. So before we go to the next part, just want to invite you guys to comment some recommendations for a topic. And try not to recommend badge stats because even you don't recommend it, they're all scheduled already anyway. I will do them, it's just it takes a while to finish. They're all already on my list. So in between, I'm trying to solve speculations like this one. So try to recommend some speculations that is lurking around so we can debunk it. So now for the results, as you can see here, it is so close to the extent that Hall of Fame have longer shot time. The gap is so small so I believe it's just a margin of error. And keep in mind, it's between Hall of Fame and no badge, and it was slowed down by 80%, so in real time, it's like nothing. And for the records, it's not unanimous. Sometimes no badge is faster and sometimes otherwise. So now it's clear that Dimer badge doesn't increase your shot speed or gather speed. Same as catch and shoot badge. So if you ever feel that you shoot faster when your passer have Dimer, with all due respect, I think it's just a placebo effect. So that's all for the video. If you like it, please smash that like button and don't forget to drop by the channel for some other videos. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.